Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay, and we are back with a, another part of my Sims 4 Parent C Challenge. So, since I saw you guys last, um, we did go ahead and get Liza up to the level 3 of the Style Influencer career. Um, so now she is a wearable wordsmith. Um, for the challenge, you only have to get her up to a level 2, but while still working on it, we'll see if we can get her as high as possible. So right now, as you can see, we are actually finishing up a date that is gold status, if you remember him. This is Aaron from the first part. Don't mind how miserable he looks, but let me just say that the date, even though we got a gold on it, the date went horribly, horribly horribly, horribly, horribly bad. When it came to doing anything flirty, anything, basically anything that you would typically do on a date besides socialize, Aaron shut Liza down immediately, which was crazy because he was flirting with us inside the cafe. He asked us out on this date, but then he gets here and he's like, whoa, pump the brakes because I'm married. And Liza's like, she just doesn't get it. But yeah, the date went bad. Um, he basically, let me see if it's still in here. Um, yeah, so ignore the little sex interaction, but he refused to go any further with her because he felt awkward. He told Liza that he does not find her attractive and because he's married. So yes, in reality, those are great reasons, but we're in the sim world, so I don't care. But even though Liza has been told all that, as you can see, She's energized. She's feeling okay. She she has a deep connection. What are these called? Little box thing down here. Saying that building strong relationships with others is cause for happiness. So I feel like Liza has completely checked out. She has basically completely thrown everything that he has said out the window when it comes to oh. him not wanting her be because she is still in love with him if you remember in the first part oh, I was boy. telling you look he's like what telling her no yeah, sure. I don't like you <laughs> but she's taking that as him feeling herself so in the first part I was saying how Liza purposefully ignores blatant signs when it comes to relationships and this is the perfect example of her doing this so I think we should just go ahead and let her go down this rabbit hole and let's see where it takes us the date is ending now um, we had just came to a park and then it started raining so that's even worse um, we're gonna have Liza actually come over here and use the bathroom really quick and hopefully by the time she gets done, the date will be over and we'll be good to go home. But it's just interesting. Yeah, date completed, gold medal earned. So, I don't know. We're going to have to see what happens next. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see you guys back at Liza's house. Okay, so it is now the next day. It's almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And Liza has been waiting all day from a phone call, a text, or even a visit from Erin. And she hasn't gotten anything, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can send him a text message. Mm, let's go ahead and send him a message. Ah. Let's see if he responds back. Um, we're gonna pick an umbrella really quick because it is raining a lot. We'll get the polka dot one. And let's see if Aaron messes, messages us back. Um, I don't think he's going to. Um, 
let's go ahead and call him like Liza is like hey we had a date yesterday like why haven't you called me yet okay so she was able to get a hold of him on the phone um and pretty much they weren't talking for that long so I feel like he was just trying to get her off the phone either because he was with his wife or something like that so let's have Liza head over to the computer and let's see if she can do some research We're gonna research and see if we can find out where Aaron lives. So, so Liza found out that Aaron lives in the Spice Market neighborhood, um, particularly in the Jasmine Suites apartments. So she has decided to take her little friend Melina, head into the city and visit the karaoke bar. Just on a whim, nothing to do with Aaron, but she has the feeling that if she runs into him, she will. If he doesn't, if she doesn't, that's fine. But she is definitely looking forward to seeing him. So before we go in, we're just gonna have Liza's just gonna do a quick scan of the neighborhood. So we are going to order food, not food, um, order a drink. From the bar let's order our favorite drink i always like to find out what my sims favorite drink is what is she do you see what is her name all right she's over here in a bikini <laughs> like i know it's hot outside i know we're in a heat wave but dang but one of my sims had the favorite drink of it was that pet one and i was like what in the world let's see is that just a plain beer a little sim beer can we stop moving so I can see? Oh, it's EAPA. -A. Okay. So that is her favorite drink. So we'll go ahead and let her <laughs> let her sip on that for a little bit. Uh, and let's just go give him a friendly introduction, whoever this guy is. I know we bought Melina and we are not hanging out with her whatsoever, but... Who are these people? That's Brent. Is that Brent or Brent? Okay, that's Brent. Oh. Hold on. Um. What in the world? Who is she on the coffee table with? Is this with the guy that she was meant to just say hello to? Hold on. It says, wow, what a sim. Liza Callahan just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found them staring at... Sasumu Hashimoto That man has so many of the qualities that make Liza's heart race as if it were on a cross-country marathon Their handsome features meets Liza's desires to re readily Desire so readily that it's almost as if whatever created such a sim sculpted him specifically for them Now the only thing left is to pick up their jaw and work up the courage to speak to such an Adonis Hopefully, Susumi will be kind enough to reciprocate Liza's feelings. Now, if this is Susumi over here, then evidently he for sure shares the same interest. Because I doubt that she's over there by herself. And <laughs> she's a sad drunk right now, which makes it even worse. She's, ha she's basically cleared out the entire karaoke bar. Oh, Liza. Liza. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Who, wait. You, you guys see this, right? Do you see who this is? Do you see that this is Susumu? Susumu? I don't know if it's Susumu or Susumu. I'm going to call him Sus. Does everybody see who this is in his little Hawaiian shirt? So is she just on the coffee table by herself? Oh my gosh. She's on the coffee table by herself. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Yeah. 
So Liza was on the coffee table by herself. Here I am thinking that, oh, why is she so weird? Here I am thinking that, you know, she met this guy, they just hit it off, she's kind of drunk, whatever. But no. She's alone. By herself. And now she's crying. She's a mess. She is a mess. Does everybody see this? Aaron Bita is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. Ooh. Okay, so this might not work. Uh, I know the travel has been glitching for me, so let's see if, yeah. It's not gonna work. Um, I don't know why it's glitching with the travel, um, but we luckily just happen to be in the neighborhood. Oh my gosh, they have a baby! I didn't know that they had a baby. Well, let's hope that the baby isn't there and... Oh, and the baby's out in the hallway. Oh, they're here. Okay, which which apartment is this? So to make matters worse. Oh. And they are on the sofa. Okay, so they have now stopped. <laughs> so and now she's even oh my gosh this is just terrible no you're not gonna go take a bath in somebody else's house you can go and use the bathroom really quick look so she walked in on them doing it and then he goes and kisses his wife right in front of her and she still is like just seeing a sim can set the heart a flutter what he literally just See, Liza's crazy. Let's not take. Liza's crazy. So, you know what? You know what she's gonna do? She is going in front of his wife and his baby. She's gonna confess her attraction for him. And she's gonna tell him that he needs to pick either his wife and his baby or her. Don't no, you don't say hi to me. I don't like you. Oh, look who's mad. And evidently he did not like that either. Okay, let's see if we can then um let's let's give let's give her a rude introduction. I like how we're in her house, but <laughs> we're being so mean right now. So we're gonna argue with her, and then we're gonna see if, let's apologize to him, you know, for coming over and just being a little bit unsensitive, but we're going to travel and let's see if he will come back. Oh, no, not, not Susumi. I guess sus. Let's see if he will travel with us. Come on, Aaron, come inside with us. I am going to just really quick. I am going to cheat up her needs because I don't want her to be stinky. I feel like Liza feels like she just needs to befriend him a little bit more before she puts the little romance down on him a little too hard um she still thinks that he's interested in her okay so it has taken a very very long time but we have finally gotten to this point i don't know if we can get to it again but we are here <laughs> i've never had to struggle this much just to get my sims together okay so we are currently just i think yeah we're at a different cafe um we're just gonna come over here to hang out possibly just do some reading some soul searching anything like that oh my gosh look 
she's preggers moira is pregnant oh she looks so cute pregnant that is so adorable okay hopefully cross her fingers Liza will be expecting a little bumble of joy. Hopefully she's not ordering coffee. Maybe we can go ahead and give a friendly introduction to Victor over here. I like how Myra's just in the middle of Moira and she's just like, this is so awkward. I'm just gonna look at the ceiling and now she's excusing herself. <laughs> she's like, I'm just gonna go and sit over here. <laughs> Okay, so he did not like that flirt. Is that her husband? Oh, it is her husband. Okay. Aw, they're so cute. Is this ours? Let's go ahead and just eat this cannoli. And I think we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs and just take a pregnancy test. I feel like seeing Moira just, you know, made her start to think and was like, hmm. So we're gonna have Liza take a pregnancy test because after the night that they spent together she feels like the only way that she can keep Aaron and possibly have some type of future with him is if she has his baby because in her eyes he will not leave his wife because they have a child together oh is Nancy pregnant too just all the townies are pregnant aren't they yes they are who is she pregnant by? Hold on, let's look and see. Um, oh, okay, by her husband. Of course. <laughs> I forgot that she was married. Um, but yeah. She feels like the only way that she can get and keep Aaron now is if she has a baby by him. So she took that opportunity of him slipping up last night and, you know, getting a little frisky with her. She is now hoping that that is resulting in a beautiful baby that will help her keep him. So let's see. Oh! <laughs> Guys, it has happened. I like how her face is just pure determination. She's like, yes, step one is done. Baby in the belly. Step two, get Aaron. <laughs> so, but yeah, she's pregnant. Oh, look at her little, is she not going to use wash her hands? Oh, look at her little baby belly. It's so cute. Oh, okay. Now... It is basically time to tell Aaron, but I think we're going to do that in the next part. This part has been really, really long. Um, but yeah, in the next part, we are going to tell Aaron. Oh, now she's nauseous. We're going to tell Aaron that we're pregnant with his baby and tell him that our home is ready for him to move into and we can enjoy this beautiful life together so we're gonna see how that goes in the next part but thank you for tuning in to this part and i will see you later bye